driving it. Good boy. I do that he thinks there's someone there. Archie, what's going on? Look at him looking. Little nut bar. Said this is like tra trekking through the Amazon. It's not like trekking through the Amazon but we were just saying we would not do very well in the Amazon. We're both checking for spiders and everything as we're going. Hilarious. We would not be ideal. So it's been lovely watching this change. Actually, it's obviously now there's none of the colour that there was there before. Well, there is still colour there, but you know, we had a riot of poppies and daisies and all sorts, but it's lovely watching it change. And I mentioned yesterday that how um, summer is my least favourite season. I don't mean that I don't love summer, I do love summer. I just, I just love autumn more and winter and spring. But isn't it lovely? Looking forward to seeing it changing for autumn though. So we were just walking over there, just over to where the trees are, and there was some longer grass and Christopher was saying, oh, there'll be adders over there, standing still while he's saying that. Um, so naturally the quote that sprung to mind was, very dangerous, you go first. Name that film. So good morning, it is Thursday and uh, we've had a walk, which was so hot. We in the southwest are really lucky, I think, because here it's sort of in the 80s, but I think in some parts of the country it's over 100. Which, as I've said before, if you're in other parts of the world, that probably you, you're not that wowed by that, but we are here. Anyway, one of the things that I like to try and do, um, I'm doing at the moment, is reading through a few nature books every day, and this one is a must. So this is Emma Mitchell. I think I've shown it before because I love it. I just wanted to read you this that I've just read. That's Emma. She is, I believe, Silver Pebble 2. Silver Pebble 2, I think she's on Instagram. And I'm just reading this. Look, it's got lovely illustrations in it. And it's just such a restful book to read. But look at this. Only three... I mean, I know this because I send this out, these sort of statistics out with our Wildflowers Minis Clubs, but... Only 3% of Britain's wildflower meadows are still in place. Most have been ploughed and turned into intensively farmed land, destroying the immensely complex ecosystem in huge botanical biodiversity that I witnessed. Da, da, da. Isn't that sad? I think that's such a shame. We don't realise what we do when we do that. But anyway, they're coming back, and I know that the Devon Wildlife Trust is spearheading a campaign to get more meadows, plant more meadows, so anyway, recommend this book, it's lovely. Just going outside to do a little bit of embroidery actually because it's cooler outside than in here. But I just wanted to show you this one, this little bag, which is actually going into the shop on Friday. But thinking of World Embroidery Day, this was originally a tray cloth and this is original embroidery this is not mine this is the embroidery that was done by who who did that i love the th i just love to think about who sat and embroidered all of that and i've embellished it just with some um text to curl up and knit and i put that fabric with it because I, so basically it's a tea cloth and i've used this part of it and then made it into a bag so that's a cotton poplin which I thought went quite well and the other side um, is the same and I've just I've just added quiet moments because that's what we do don't we when we curl up with our knitting and crochet or whatever but I love to think about who who did this and a lot of these trade cloths actually have a similar Pattern. I think there were patterns that were released for people to, uh, for ladies to embroider. Perhaps every month, I don't know. Anyway, 
I just thought that was lovely. I thought I'd show you that. I'm going to go outside now. It's cooler. So just outside now doing some embroidery. So I always, unless I'm embroidering on my desk, I always have um, a cloth that I always have to keep it clean. So it's easy otherwise to wrap it up in. But also to, um, if your embroidery is on your lap, you want to keep it nice and clean or if it's on a table outside where there's dust, etc. And I'm going to try and get this lavender embroidery done. I'm going to work out what stitches to do. You shall see. I don't know if you can see that very well. I've also got some of my books to read. It's my sock that I've finished. I've got to um, block that, send it to my mum. Decided to give it to my mum in the end because she thought it was lovely. This is Kelly Jean, Lay family. Isn't that lovely? It's been there for ages now. And there's also something going on in there. It's definitely either a nest in there or something. Gosh, it's hard. So George, that comes that comes from oh, someone's coming to the door to apologise. Um, excuse me a second. Dogs! Uh, that comes from a cartoon, a Bugs Bunny cartoon, about an abominable snowman who's melting. And yes, we Brits do like to talk about the weather. Anyway, so this is what I've been doing um, for the last hour, sort of, that sort of time. Embroidering some lavender. It's inspired by this slightly different shades that i've gone for because um you can if you're embroidery embroidering embroidering but also because uh the this shade goes better with the background fabric excuse me i'm just going to stop monty barking he thinks he's a big guard dog if you have a dog and you make a mistake by saying, for example, well done, if they bark at the door, that's it. They will forever more bark at the door and think they're going to get rewarded for it. Uh, that's what I'm trying to talk about. I was trying to match it more to that, this sort of colour, rather than the actual true colour of the lavender, which didn't really fit. So anyway, that's what I've been doing. Also just started watching lovely Cherie. That's a treat, isn't it? I love it when it pops up. New podcast. Um, yeah, we've been chatting actually because about diet, etc. Anyway, she's lovely. Looking forward to seeing what she's got to say. Also, queued up So Sweet Violet, Sweet Jewels, because I haven't been able to watch podcasts for since I got back because our internet John Lewis has completely messed up our internet and we have prehistorically slow internet so I can't oh, the only reason I can watch this is because I'm tethered to someone's phone but can't keep doing it because the data mo 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 anyway uh Oxfam I'm going to see if I can find details of that Oxfam thing I was talking about yesterday uh sorry to moan okay I hope this won't make the screen go all funny um this is what I was talking about. So it's secondhand September, and it's basically all about um, saying no to new clothes for thirty days. Well, I actually don't buy many clothes at all. I do not like going clothes shopping, and some of my clothes I've had forever. But so really, I it's not like I would buy a lot of clothes anyway. But it's the whole concept of people not buying clothes um, new clothes for 30 days and look at that every week 11 million items of clothing end up in landfill that's in the UK how amazing is that um, and look at this Where am I? no 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 sorry fashion facts it would take 13 years to drink the water needed to make one t-shirt and a pair of jeans Every week the UK sends you, I've told you that one, 
factoid we already know the clothes sent to, sent to UK landfill every year weigh as much as the Empire State and the clothes Oxfam save from landfill every year weigh as much as the Eiffel Tower so anyway I just think there's a big thing I mean global warming is, is something that I take a lot of I'm really fascinated by the whole thing have been for a long time now and fascinated by the fact that people don't seem to sort of get it yeah what we're doing um, and fashion fast fashion is really um, damaging oh, sorry that's tap going again so anyway I just thought I would highlight that because I think it's fascinating so that is second hand September and if you just search by uh, what is it ox no I'm on some, no yeah just search second hand September anyway there we are I just think that's really worth doing if you do buy a lot of clothes then perhaps consider second hand I've just closed all my flipping tabs I have I have a lot of tab a lot of tabs open um Flipping heck, I've just closed them all. There's about, there was about 30, there were about 30. That is a lot of tabs, David. There were about 30 tabs open at least. But they were all things I was going back to. I've just closed the lot. Oh, ah. I'll quickly show you this. Remember yesterday I got that lovely card from Chris? Look at that. I showed you that. Well, I asked her if it was okay if I showed you this too, and she said yes. This is from the Royal Box. Look at that. How amazing is that? So I still to bits with that. I mean, I didn't go. But next best thing. Yeah, that's lovely. The other thing I got. You know I'm always hot. Do you know I'm always, I'm always, I'm always hot. Look at this. Yeah, absolutely lovely, Chris. I'm thrilled to bits with it, and I will treasure that lovely card and my fan and this. So thank you. Just thought I'd show you that. I'm so lucky. Thank you. So I think that's finished. I'm not going to fiddle around with it too much. I keep doing that. So this also, by the way, this, this is stem stitch along here, but I sort of overlap it as well to give it a bit more... A 3D look, and I decided to put a lavandula at the bottom. So, and these hoops, so these are the trimmits hoops that I was saying. I've got a little tag here somewhere. Where is it? Here we are. That's so, as I said, full disclosure, they sent them to me um, for me to try, and they are kind of the hoops that I would bamboo that I would buy usually and yeah they're good i think they start from around two pound for the smallest one so can't go wrong really i've also started using the other one the clover one um yeah and i like that too actually we'll talk about that tomorrow but anyway so i'm just about to go and press this and if it's not too dark because actually the sun's gone and it's still so humid but um i will show you how i press it also just i did say yesterday i would show you some of the yarns and i forgot this one is going into the shop on friday not quite sure when this video is going to go up so it may be after that but actually if you look at it next to the lavender it looks quite nice together i think anyway um I'm going to show you the rest of the yarns tomorrow because it's a little bit... I've What it is, I've got my blinds half closed because to keep the sun out, so it's all got a bit overcast, but not overcast, you know what I mean. Anyway, I'm going to go and press this now, and as I say, if it's not too gloomy, I will show you how I do it. So, what I do is I... If you feel that your embroidery has perhaps got a little bit um grubby then give it a wash but i as i said before i embroider that's archie 
Um, I embroider, I always have it on a clean uh, piece of fabric, tea towel, clean tea towel that I, I keep just for embroidery. Um, if you make sure you wash your hands regularly and if you always keep your embroidery wrapped up when you're not doing it, it should be fine. But if you do need to wash it, you can do. But what I often do is I'll just give a little spray just so it's very slightly damp. And then, so again, this is a towel that is used, bought and used purely for, just for embroidery. And then you turn, sorry, so you turn your embroidery down onto the towel. And then the idea is that the towel will absorb the stitches. And then you give it an iron. Don't wiggle it, just hold it on. Don't overly press it, just hold it down. Perfect. And then, when you take it out, can you see there's the indentation of the stitches there? But your stitches will be, you can still see that, you can see that they're still standing proud and they're not at all damaged. So if you've just spent ages doing Bullion stitch, French knots, something like that. You don't want it flattened. So hope that helps. And if you ever, I should do a video on how to do that. But but if you ever buy one of my bags and you wash it, then you would press it in the same way. You just always make sure that you sort of. I need to show you how to do that. I'll show you how to do that separately. But anyway, I hope that helps. Tonight's supper is a mushroom and ale pie which is completely out of focus there we are just about to go into the oven i'll show you the recipe in a second mushroom and guinness pie from as ever what well, we're using quite a few from this at the moment bosch yeah hopefully it looks like that however it might a bit of an bit of a epic fail here because it's one for those winter nights after a long day in the cold it's been up to 100 degrees in the country today so I might not quite have actually nailed that but so much cooler today uh, oh, it's lovely so I'm just having a look through Archie, with an Archie. Um, I just wanted to show you this book. Cherie, if you're watching, this is the one I was telling you about. Oh, oh, oh. Some of the things that I fancy. So, I love vegetable fritters, so I think they look lovely. I'll go at those this week. This is one I'll try this weekend, most of these. Oh, I'm trying to, actually, we've got a bit of a breeze now, it's blowing everything away. Look at that. So, that is. Brown flour pancake with peas and leeks. Have like a look at that. Sweet corn and spring onion patties. Peanut and cucumber dipping sauce. Oh, oh, I'm using all my bits of cardboard. And sweet and sour popcorn tofu. I think that, oh, Archie, that was a bit of a snort. Sorry, that's that. The thing I like about this book is every page seems to have a picture of the actual dish which I quite like oh, oh just sorry <coughs> just found my bit of cardboard anyway I thought I would show you that um, guess what's waiting for me here for him I have other things to go and do apparently there are toys to be thrown. Nearly finished this little bag, just got to do the stitching for the uh, ribbon to go in. So I'm quite pleased with how that's come together in the end actually, it's how I wanted it to look. So I'm just going to pop out for a walk 
and then I will come back and have something to eat. I'm always saying that. I'm going to come back and have something to eat. do quite like my food. And then I've got another couple of bags to finish that I've made. Yeah, pleased with that. So just going out um, to have a little walk around a National Trust property nearby. And I just thought I'd take the opportunity to do this little embroidery, which I've been meaning to finish. I keep saying I'm going to finish it. Um, this little boy who, I just love this image, it came from a book I'll show you when I get home. Um, Dandelion Clocks, I think it's called. And I'm just stitching his little waistcoat. And then I'm going to, I might leave it hooped and put it on the wall. I like that, I like him. Oh, what's he got in those pockets? I bet he's got lots in those pockets. Anyway, it's a lovely day. So... So they've got a bookshop here. Have a forage around there in a minute. I like these bird baths. Oh, there I am. There's the little mice that I got before. Got some lovely flowers. It's pretty. actually got scaffolding up here today because apparently they've had a little bit of water damage um, so I hope not too much damage has been done There's two cousins which I'll tell you about later who have got the most amazing collections and treasures look at the butterflies in there it's an octagon house which you can't really see in all its beauty today isn't that lovely? Look, really simple, but love it. Quite like that pot too. So, reading that, it costs the equivalent of 1,250 cups of tea, 1,000 jars of curd, or 1,750 raffle tickets. I think we need to help them out and have a cup of tea. Nothing else for it. So that's one of the lovely things about being a member of the Trust is that you can just pop in just for half an hour, have a wander, see how things are changing and things like that. I think it's about £10 to get in normally. So um, yeah, you see the estuary behind. Anyway, you don't want to see me, I'll show you what's around. So this is called Alaronde and this is a, a house with just some meadow land really around it and the sisters that actually I think one of the sisters died I will look this up and it was cousins but they uh, traveled and brought back the most amazing collections shells all sorts it's lovely and there's some lovely textiles in there as well but it's just a really restful place to be to wander around see it changing. Look at that. This was full of wildflowers the last time we came. Lots of butterflies. When our boys were young we used to spend every weekend we would go to a, Nash, a trust property and we used to live in Kent actually when the boys were younger so we lived near Knoll and Knoll Park, K-N-O-L-E, Knoll Park, and that was an amazing place. We used to spend hours and hours and hours there, hearing the children here. It's lovely, it brings back memories of that. You sit just for a little while. We're just sitting here, actually. It's just a little area, but if you sit quietly, it's actually heaving with life. That thing there. Pod. Actually, thinking about it, now our boys are grown up, we still do it. We still spend time together regularly having walks. There's something in there moving around. So 
what lives down that little hole? I don't know. Let's look at the colours of these. Lovely. This little one, little pussy cat. He's having the time of his life in there. He's going to let me go up to him. Hello. So this is the bee garden. That looks lovely. No access, which makes me want to go in even more. But you can go round with a tour. That looks lovely in there though. So that's finished. Just send the tabs on. Um, this thread there. Um, yeah, I quite like it. I think that's a really... It turned out as I wanted it to and I think the lining... Um, I think the, the thread colour works quite well with the lining is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, so I was quite pleased with that. So that is going to go into the shop this evening, that's Friday. Um, probably there'll be one for sale and then I will probably offer a couple as pre-orders if people want them. But um, maybe two or three weeks to actually have them made because I'm also doing hand embroidered bags for the autumn boxes and I've started doing them for the advent calendars. So anyway, yeah, I'm pleased with how that turned out. So spectacularly forgot to show you the yarn again. So this is a yarn that was dyed um, kind of with this in mind. Um, picking up, there's, there's a bit of the purple in there and the teal and the pinks. So yeah, that was the idea that it, it was a nice match. And we've seen, we've been out and about looking at flowers and oh my goodness there's so much inspiration out there it's just really finding the time to do them all but yeah so that's a nice match I think oh my goodness look what I've just opened my goodness I did a little swap with um, lovely Emily Queen Emily from Meanwhile at the Castle podcast um, her and her lovely sister Deborah. Oh, they're just the loveliest people. And we did a swap. And I, her parcel arrived last week, but I was a bit too, I was a bit later in sending mine. So I've waited for her to get hers. And look what has come through. And it's so soft. I cannot tell you how soft it is. Look at that. Gosh, thanks, Emily. I'm over the moon and these look at these oh very special as well where they came from and look tea I, I think that one I'm gonna do that one first Car. I haven't done a cross stitch for a while actually and I love them but look at this little bird Oh, Emily, thank you. We were just saying, it's just, oh, she's just such a lovely friend and they're both lovely people and I just feel, I just feel blessed actually to have connected with people like that on Instagram. So thank you, absolutely made my day, my week. I'm going to go and um, cuddle these for a little while. Thank you, lovely Emily. Let me show you what they were called. So this one is Stargazer and this one is Cordelia and they are on her classic sock 75-25 Merino Nylon. Cool.
This is one of my favourite shops. This is Nest. There's a lot of pre-loved things in here as well, but look at this. This desk. sail on going in there tomorrow. I like that too. Look, they've turned the tag away so you can't see how much it is. Very sneaky. Isn't that lovely? So this is the botanist. Yeah, there's some lovely things in here. I've got my mum a lovely plant in here for her birthday. You didn't need to know that, but anyway. <laughs> 